What up, world? This your boy, Lil Mo Films, and welcome to the Chilling Circuit. We got a special guest in the building today. I'm talking about a Knoxville legend, man. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? I'm talking about a Knoxville legend. You feel me? Black Tape Cartel, man. Black Tape Paper, bruh. What's going on, man? That was cracking. What's cracking, man? We here, man. Hey, we finally got you in the chilling circuit, man. See, a lot of people don't know, man. Uh, me and you, me and you met on the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was messing with my boy uh, Shay and Dope Boy Juice. Yes, sir. Yo, and uh, yo, Bread yo. When the Cane down in uh, in Alabama. Yeah, I fuck with Cane. And uh, I, I, all I heard was it's a, it's another Tennessee nigga in the building. Man, you feel me? Yes, sir. And I and I met you, man. Black tape paper. You feel me? We linked in right now today, bro. Yeah, you know, we had to make this shit happen, man. You feel me? It was time, man. Then I've been got down. I've been putting in so much work behind this shit. See, last time you see me, you know, I was fresh out. Fresh mm -hmm. out that head hole, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, now, goddamn, I'm here telling what I done been through. You feel me? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. How long How long you was in that thing, man? Like, let them know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you done kind of been through. And what, what was you in for if you don't mind talking about it? If not, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to speak on it. Shit, you know, I I let y'all win on a little bit, but you know, everything public record, so you know, if anybody wanna go get that. But uh yeah, man, you know, shit, what we do in the streets, nigga moving to work and goddamn uh, intruder try to come and see if he could take something and you know, it is what it is, enough said, but um yeah, I did eight years, man. Majority of my time, I was out West Tennessee. You know, shit, the hell hoe. You know what I mean? Had some rough moments, had some um, glorified moments. You know what I'm saying? Shit, adversity in itself. You know how they go, you feel me? But we here now. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Straight like that, man. Like, nigga, I was interviewing uh, Project Pat. You know what I'm saying? He was saying when he was locked up, how the ten Tennessee niggas was in the joint. Uh, riding with each other and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like he was saying how he fuck with Knox, how he how he fuck with Chattanooga, you know what I'm saying? Like I could play, I'm gonna play the clip right now. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, what if Memphis? Cause when I be hearing that, I heard y'all talk about Nashville. You feel me? And with mm. the hip hop shit, with the rap shit, you feel me? But I don't mm. never hear Knoxville. I don't never hear Johnson City. I don't never hear Chattanooga. I don't mm. never hear. But it's some hard ass niggas all over this bitch. We compete yes, the game. They went before us, and that shit popped. They they accepted everybody. Talk like, to me. Talk okay. to me. But what I, what I'm saying though is we can we can goddamn turn this whole Tennessee thing. To I feel like the whole like Tennessee can take the whole game over, bro. Like okay. All right, Pat. I think what he's trying to say. You know how Troy brought the uh, Georgia thing to the table, right? Okay. He's saying if Memphis opened the door for the whole Tennessee, we'll have a longer run as a whole. So you want Memphis dudes to start staying Tennessee instead of Memphis? I mean, you ain't got to say, I mean, represent for the whole state instead of just, you know what I'm saying, open the door. You ain't got to say Tennessee, but like, say you know a tight dude from Chattanooga, you know a tight dude from Knoxville. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Dunn trip and Starlito thing. Okay. Yeah, that that will help more people in Tennessee get on. Basically unifying like Atlanta did with the other cities in Georgia, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I I, I, I just never looked at it like that. But I work with a lot of people from Knoxville a lot. I got a lot of homeboys in Knoxville rap I work with a lot. I mean, I guess. I mean, you know, I know a lot of guys out of, out of the deal. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, what I was trying to show y'all is that uh, Bank Road Freddy, he from a small town in Arkansas, and Little Rock is bigger than West Hell in Arkansas, and he still blew up. Boom. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, you from Knoxville, man. You yeah, know what I'm man. saying? Yeah, uh, East Tennessee shit, man. Yeah, you feel me? Hold on now. We, it, I'm going to get straight to it. I'm going to get straight. We going straight in. <laughs> we finna go straight in. We going straight in. An uh, incident just happened in Knoxville. Yeah, yeah. An uh, incident just went down in Knoxville 
with uh another Tennessee legend, another Tennessee legend, finesse two times. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we trying to get some. We've been hearing from Finesse two times, but we know he big time and he got out of big time promotion and out of big time marketing behind him. But we ain't really got to hear no Knoxville perspective all the way besides Facebook and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we want somebody who really stomping down in Knoxville to give some insight on the situation for the world. You feel me? First off, you know, I'm just saying like this, you know. It ain't no country shit going on in Knoxville, man. It ain't no hick town, you know. So we gonna clear that up for the air. But, you know, as far as the situation go with that, hell, I wasn't even out that night. But, you know, um, I, I, me personally, I feel like how his brother felt, like, shit, man, nigga, mama in the club, it shouldn't have went down like that, man, you know, niggas got to be bosses, and when you in a boss position, you got to, you know what I mean, you got to you gotta tell your man never to stand down sometimes, you feel me, sometimes it's more about the bag, you know, like, but then him being in the situation that he was in, just coming home, man. You know, you gotta you gotta grab that. He yeah, trying to stay yeah, free. Yeah, like you gotta grab that like shit. Everybody don't get their second chance. And then especially not the second chance with the platform, you feel me? Like shit. So you know, man, it's more of a it's a should have been more of a Tennessee thing, you know what I mean? Like you you in Knoxville, which it ain't Memphis, but Shit, man, we, we in a team, man. We got to stick together, shit. So, you know, hopefully the situation do for the best, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, hopefully, you know what I mean, hope well on the man that got the security guard that, that took a couple of them and the rest of them folks. And, you know, shit, man, better day. Yeah, uh, speaking, speaking on that, man, um, it, it, it feel like, you know, I watch I watch New York start this hip-hop shit. You feel me? They started the thing. Okay, you had the Bronx, you had Harlem, you had Brooklyn. You see what I'm saying? Like, even though they was, they might have had their own little beef in between each other. You feel me? But, nigga, it was always New York over the outsiders. Right, right, right. It was always New York over the outsiders. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay, you flip that bitch over to the West Coast. You know, Snoop and Dre and Cube and them niggas was in E-40 and Too Short. Like, them niggas was all from different cities, bro. Like, they were from different sections in California. Makes sense. But at yeah. the end of the day, it was always what? It was always California. Yeah, it was always love. It was always California. Love. You feel me? Same thing in Texas. Atlanta got it and took it to a whole nother level. You feel me? You know, why is it that you feel like Tennessee can't seem to make it a whole Tennessee thing, but it's more like of, and let's just put it out on the table. Everybody know Memphis, the head in Tennessee right now on this hip hop shit. You feel me? But why is it we can't come together as a collective and make it more than just Memphis and make it a whole Tennessee thing like all the rest of the people who took the game over and showed us you know what I'm saying? How to how to make money out this shit? You feel me? Now, me personally, I don't think that it can't come together. I just see Memphis is just they doing they more putting a city on right now. You feel me? They kicking the door in for for they homeboys and they homeboys homeboys. You know so. But you don't if, think they've been on since playoff flying? Three six and not, I mean they was on, but but not like they on now. Like 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 they city popping. You see what I'm saying? Like like and and they start out with your own city though. Like in my city, shit, the same niggas you grew up with, the DJs, tell you they love you in the streets and won't even play your music in the club. No, you trying to make it out, shit. Bam. You, niggas be quick to talk about a nigga out here swinging it on and all that, but. When a nigga trying to do something positive and, you know, get their family out the streets and shit, motherfucker won't in, you know what I mean? 
look your way, you feel me? Even if you try to give a nigga a dollar or two, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker got more excuses than anything. So, I can't say that, you know, when I was down in Memphis, you know, shit, I got I got a song with, with my nigga down in Memphis. Stupid dude. You know my, uh, you know, he's working with Future and, and the Free Band gang and all that, you know, mm-hmm. so. Double O. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, um. Yo, when I first got out, shit, that's the first place I went to. I shot straight to Memphis. You feel me? Got it in. My folks love me like I was from down there. So I can't say that it can't be brought together. But I do see what they own, though. Like, shit, you got to supply your home before you supply the table. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. So, really, they just trying to build they self for yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. That's really what I see. Like, and it's like I'm saying, you know what I mean? Because when I'm down in the club, you know. Shit, Big Homie G wasn't even on yet. Mm-hmm. They spent more Big Homie G than they did anybody in the city. You see what I'm saying? I dig it. They 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 bumping the local. It mm-hmm. ain't local to them. It's it's niggas they know. You see what I'm saying? They fucking with the nigga that I grew up with, and it got to be like that everywhere. So you can't expect no nigga that you don't know to just be like her and go to plate. No, it started out with business. Then you build a bond. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just it's, like how many you did. Right. Yeah. And then it come to that. You see what I'm saying? I'm in chat right now with you. And it ain't more on no business side. It's because we built the bond to be having this situation right now. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I see eventually that it, 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 it could happen. And I don't know how long it might take. You feel me? But mm-hmm. shit, it just, you know what I mean? It just had got to go. Yeah, yeah. So let's just let's just get get straight to the to the big question, man. How you felt about when finesse was talking about the Knoxville nigga? Cause you from Knoxville, and nigga right, was right, like, right. "Man, you a maggot." That nigga called a nigga a maggot, man. <laughs> you know what a maggot is, man? <laughs> Hold on, I'm finna play the clip right now, nigga. We ain't friends, nigga. What the fuck you trying to put your hands around my neck for, nigga? I don't know you. I don't know you, nigga. Nigga, we met doing business, bitch. That ain't mean I'm trying to feel on you, nigga. Know you, nigga. You ain't big A. Don't touch my neck, pussy. Maggot. <laughs> Bam. Look, the nigga said maggot. Called him a maggot. Mm. Nigga, the maggot is nothing, nigga. This shit is on the trash can when the trash fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Like... And I was just on some shit like, damn, bro, we from Tennessee, bro. Like, why you doing that? Like, damn. Like, then you, then you called him a groupie. He a groupie. He ain't got no money. You this, you that. I'm just on shit like, damn, bro. Like, bro, obviously trying to get some money. Like, he putting the play together and you say he drunk. Nigga, everybody be drunk at the club. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, everybody be drinking and shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, nigga, what drinking got to do with? That's why I don't drink. You feel me? I don't drink. But um. But people, but you know how you how you felt about yeah, like was he was he? You know. I, I say it like this. I'm some some people say he was out of line, bro. You know. I don't think he was out of line. Talk to me. But you know, sometimes I'm gonna say it like this. This is how I'm gonna make you think. This is how I'm gonna iterate it. <laughs> It's just, you know, it's the heat of the moment. It's it's emotional by now. You see what I'm saying? Somebody that got popped, they blaming this mama for this, this, that, and the third. You feel me? So it, 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 it ain't about trying to make somebody feel good no more. It's like, shit, we ego, we ego tripping now. You feel me? It's so, it's, we, they don't really know each other. So nine times out of ten, they probably ain't going to cross each other's paths again. So now they so. Yeah, you know I'm saying me versus you. Yeah, it's shit on you this way, shit on you this way. Perspective. Yeah, you feel me? So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like shit. If we in the streets, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> if it's that, if it already done became it, it ain't a choice of words. Don't matter no more. You feel me? Like shit. That's the least of your worries. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm hoping this nigga ain't out here. Yeah, you know I mean, shit. But <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel like I don't feel like he did nothing wrong by it. Cause you know you gotta understand. They accusing this man mama of robbing the place. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Got pictures of her, cameras and shit. You know what I'm saying? So then you got um security guards calling his security guards out. 
saying his homeboys ain't really secure. Like he saying he had his home. They saying that he secure. The light skin dude with the interview, the right. one that yeah, the security yeah, guard. I seen like, that. They saying like his his security was basically his his niggas. His, his niggas. You see what I'm saying? And uh, if they was, they still security shit. You feel me? How I feel because I know my niggas well. And if they with me, oh, nigga, that's, that's, my time, that's my security. You feel that's me? my security. So, I ain't going to say that it wasn't or that it was. I ain't pointing it. You feel me? I don't like that he did for they me. Ain't, they ain't trained but, security, but they, you see what I'm saying? they trained security. Because I, I know where I come from. And then when you feed your niggas, sometimes you can't be like ho. You see what I'm saying? Because like you said, niggas drunk. There's mm -hmm. drugs involved. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it happened, we can't act like that ain't what's going on now. Niggas on yeah, all types yeah, of pills, yeah. so all types happened, of shit. When it happened, it's a, it's you know, it's proven by science. Every action has a reaction. You see what I'm saying? Boom, boom. It's just how quick it go. I done been in prison, so I know that. And when it's up there, sometimes it might be stuck, stuck there. there. You feel there me? You go. So I hope, like I said, man, I'm from the city, and I don't wish nothing bad on nothing, nobody in my city. Whether we fuck with each other or not, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to kick the door down for the next nigga in my city. You feel me? And hopefully, the next nigga in my city trying to kick the door down for me or whoever could come be out behind me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm 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 riding with I'm I'm with the team. You feel me? I'm but you know. I'm from the gun zone, though. You feel me? So yeah. tell them, hold on. I've been the, look. So I'm down there in Knoxville. Zone, niggas keep me. telling me about the gun zone, man. What's yeah. the? I say, well, damn. I'm in the gun zone and don't even know I'm at the in the gun zone. I'm at the gas station, just doing a little more. I just, I'm like, shit. I'm just finna pull up. Matter of fact, I'm with my nigga Biggie Mo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas yeah, say, man, y'all yeah. don't know you in the gun zone, bro. You better go down. I said, man, what well, damn, man. nigga? Yeah, you know, I had to pull. I pulled my motherfucking. Pockets inside out. I said, look, goddamn it, I ain't got nothing on me. I said, so shit, I let a nigga know, look, man, I ain't no threat. I'm just from Tennessee. I'm goddamn enjoying this Knoxville shit, seeing these pretty women. You know what I'm saying? Niggas hustling, what you seeing what's going yeah. on. You yeah. feel me? Like, I'm just yeah. trying to enjoy Knoxville. Yeah. Like, yeah. put these it. niggas on the gun zone, man. What's, gun the, what's zone. the gun zone, man? Man, the gun zone, man. The definition of exactly what it is. You hear me? And we ain't give us, you know, you can't, you can't give yourself a name. You feel me? You gotta come from somewhere. If you cross the line. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we got this shit from, we got this shit from, from the white folks. You know what I'm saying? They gave us that shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now it's, it's, it's more of a law. Break so that down. Like, like, what you like, mean? You got it from the white folks. Break that down. Because <clears throat> it was, at a point in time, they was like, they had a, they, they was finding more guns on the east side than anything. <laughs> and like right now, even right now, um, the past two years since I've been home, man, the murder rate is crazy on the east side. Like that's where everything is going on. Like people's really scared to come to the east side. They know mm -hmm. that it's it's dead over there, man. You know, no disrespect to no other sides in the city, because mm -hmm. niggas do what they do. You feel me? Everybody get money. It's a get money in the city, but they know on the east side, niggas is. Niggas gonna kill you for they. And is that like? Is you that feel? like uh, Austin East? Austin East, yeah. Austin East in the gun zone. You feel me? Austin East in the gun zone. Okay. Uh, but you know, I'm from Austin Homes, man. You feel me? I'm from A Homes, the only Crip projects on the East. Everything gets blood, vice lord. You feel me? So yeah, we we did what we did. You feel me? We ain't had no choice. You feel me? So, but um. Uh, What's yeah. up with Walter P project? Ain't, Walter ain't P. wasn't that like the biggest project in Tennessee at one point or some shit like nah, that? No, they wasn't. The, <clears throat> they wasn't the biggest projects, but they was one of the most respected projects. They just with them bloods in, man. You feel okay. me? Oh, uh, yeah, shit. That motherfucker probably like two minutes from my shit, like nigga, walking distance. You feel me? We stay into it with them folks, like shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but right now, believe it or not, shit, a lot of them niggas I mingle with now. You feel me? Like, you know, we all grown now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. the, the new generation, they, shit. They linked get, in. Let's get down, lay down. You feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, the guns on, man, basically, if you get caught with that pistol on the east side, that's six at a hundred. Mm. You going to state pen? It's you feel me? Hell yeah, 
<clears throat> that you might get lucky. That's a first time offender shit. Mm -hmm. But a nigga like me, they get high my black ass. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get the fuck away from that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. yeah, man. You know what I mean? So as in, you know, back to what I was saying as far as the Nazi shit, man. I'm from the gun zone. You feel me? <clears throat> and when you're in the gun zone, shit, that's what you rep. We don't really rep. The, we don't really say we from the city like that, like, cause mm -hmm. we a different type of breed in the zone. You feel me? I dig it. You know what I mean? So, we we, we rep the zone, man. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to the city, man, Knoxville. I love this shit, man. You feel me? But that shit so hate based. Mm -hmm. You feel me, man? You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel, you, I feel. You. But we we that what we doing this for, man. We trying to. I feel like it's strength in numbers, man. If we put this whole Tennessee shit together, bro, they ain't gonna be able to fade us. And I'm standing on this shit and I'm putting it out there. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. we in the generation now to where we could just put this shit out there and nigga, if it's real, nigga, and what we coming on on some real shit. Like, yeah, nigga, yeah. they got to feel it. You got feel you, me? Like, nigga, you. we gotta put the whole Tennessee together. That yeah. ain't right. Man, that's, that's wrong. Is that's that wrong, that's wrong nigga? Nigga, that shit on, right in the motherfucker, like, it's, nigga. It's like, supposed to be going on because it's talent all in this motherfucker. You hear me? Like, it's no reason for <clears throat> niggas in our city or uh, niggas in your city. You feel me? They have to shoot to these other niggas' state, which is just on the line. You feel me? Like, it don't take long for us to get to the A. You feel that's me? It. That's but it. shit, and it take twice as long to get to the M. Mm -hmm. But in the end, like the way I think about it is like, all right, we thugging. Mm -hmm. I'm thugging, you thugging, you mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. I just came from the pen. Mm -hmm. And the same niggas in the pen is gonna be them niggas from the M. And them might be some of them niggas. They, they might sometimes might be the coolest niggas you run into. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. <clears throat> shit, I'd rather shoot to the M to fuck with them niggas on the music. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because they mm -hmm. gonna, we're gonna be able to know, we're gonna be able to know the same type of shit mm -hmm. that I might, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be just different from. Shooting to the A, them different type of niggas. They, they different. They, they from a saying? different territory. Right. They from so, a different. So you know what I'm saying. So I want to say that niggas from the M <clears throat> is just so much more different from niggas from this way. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. if we was, we wouldn't mingle with those niggas when we go to prisons and shit. Mm -hmm. Them niggas won't become associates or friends or however you make it. You feel me? Because I got some real niggas from the M that I love. You mm -hmm. hear me? Uh, they ain't sandbox, but you wouldn't know the difference. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Them niggas gonna be front line, just like my niggas from my city. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, that's just how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, it is yeah. what it is. You Project, know? And Project Pat said the same thing, bro. Like, he, he pretty much said what you just said. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's big. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to put this shit out there so... We could actually see it and put a stamp on it, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. so yeah. we can like nigga, okay, do what we doing, nigga, as a unit, nigga, Tennessee, nigga, like that was a little more famous. Shouts out, famous animal TV, he doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like famous animal linking this shit together, like yeah, in the yeah, whole yeah, little yeah, circuit. Yeah. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get my mm -hmm. man's one. Let him let him hold that while he doing the interview. Yeah, let him hold that while he doing the interview. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Is this mine? I show you one song. Okay. Yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. So I can promote this shit. Why you? Why you right there, bitch? Sip it. Why you right there? You feel me? Well, I bring it up in the midst of while we talking. You feel me? I'm sorry. Yeah. Nah, you good? Hey, just go knock on the front door, Biggie Mo. All right. All right. And he'll bring them to you. Ah, oh, you good? You good? Yeah, this shit. Nah, it isn't, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Look what it say on the thing. The more lemonade. You hear what I'm saying? I'm a little more feel, right? So I gotta link in with them. Designer. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> we gotta push each other shit, bro. In the, bo in the bottle designer. Yeah, we gotta push yeah, each other shit. Yeah, y'all see this shit? That motherfucker, look. Motherfucker, you hold it on your wrist, goddammit, mm -hmm. on your fingers. You ain't gonna never look. And motherfucker, reuse this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. God damn. Hey, you hear me? Designer. That's how you yeah, try man. Yeah. You see That's what I'm saying? Shit, but shit. we need them knock hey, we need them knock this this shit right here if niggas support black owned companies like they support this shit i got on food this shit will be just as big as this shit you feel me see. but it just take for niggas to to you know what i mean to really stand you know what i mean you gotta, you gotta stand for something you gotta stand for something before you fight for anything, anything. Man, you, yeah, you said it, my nigga so you said it you know, and and I'm big on supporting black, cause I own I own my own company, Black Take Cartel. You feel me? I'm the CEO. I'm the boss of that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that made me a black owned business owner as well. You see what I'm saying? So I have to support that. You feel me? 
So it, it's on some, it's almost on some shit. Like <clears throat> if we see the play, bro, and we act out, and it's so easy to execute. We doing it right now, nigga. We execute. Get what you pulled up. Yeah, hell yeah, I pulled you up. You feel me? Get you know what he said? I pulled up, and I ain't got nobody with by me yourself. Nobody got my bitch with me. You by know? yourself. Yeah, motherfucker, I'm a convicted felon, so I got this motherfucker with me. So you know, but we gonna survive yeah, though. You know we saying? gonna survive yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm so here. and vice versa. Get what? Lil' Mo gonna up. pull up on you when you, you know, be like, yeah. nigga, hey, nigga, I got this going on. I'm gonna make sure it good. Vice versa. What's up? You know what I'm saying? So um yeah man um so the black tape cartel how you how you come up with that bro you know what I'm saying what y'all tie some niggas up with some black tape one day or something <laughs> and got them I'm glad you asked it come though. on now talk about it. it so actually man I came up with this shit in prison man you feel me like when you in jail you know only thing you probably can't get in jail oh I ain't gonna say that because you gonna get the car keys oh okay oh fuck I hate you that. get some pussy listen, yeah that's what I'm saying listen. But you can get the car keys, but you probably just can't get to the park and not to drive the fucking car. So, <clears throat> but it's a lot of shit that you can get in jail that you're getting out of here on this motherfucker. So, <clears throat> so you know, what they've been saying, um, <clears throat> the best thing to get in paying is, is a move, you feel me? And the move of mule or whatever the fuck you want to call it, but the police to bring you something, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, motherfucker, um... When you when you trying to shoot at the police, me personally, I would say, "What's up? I'm trying to get some black tape." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this a bomb wrapped up in black tape. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you know you'll get whatever contraband it is that you trying to move in the in the facility, and you have your people to get it as small as possible. You know, wrap that black tape around it, mm -hmm. and she'll put it in Electric it. tape. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Instead, put it in them or whatever, however, bring it to your doorstep. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. you know, <clears throat> my, 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 my eight years in prison, man, I had a lot of, I had a lot of things going on. I had my hands in a lot of shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, uh, you know, shit, I was, I was getting black tape. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole time I was in the pen, and, you know, I ain't gonna say that it, it brought me the the best time. You feel me, like, cause niggas hate on you for for being successful. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, look at all these rappers out here getting killed for just making it. Yeah. So niggas, that's everywhere. You feel me? Like, that's why you. That's why we got robbers. Like, niggas, niggas wait on other niggas to make it to, to try to take, take it. it. You feel me? Like, I don't understand it. Like. <clears throat> It's enough opportunity for every Everybody. man, you feel me? Every man, every woman, and whoever want to get some money, you feel me? But, um, you know, shit, yeah, I had a lot of a lot of adversity I had dealt with in, the, in prison. My first couple years, you feel me? Game banging and shit, man. You know, I got a whole plate in my face, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Shit going out through the metal detector. Yeah, hey, yeah, man, you know, shit, uh... Couple, getting fucking with them cell phones, and you know what I mean. A couple of niggas they envy you, so they try to come and rob you. You feel me? Shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, hell, you can't just give it up. You know what I mean? You gotta we gonna fight, man. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? We gonna so, fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah, you know, which caused the whole plate in my face. But you know, also them being. Dude, they had the goddamn yeah, y'all woo de woo de woo. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shot call. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? So you know, I made mm -hmm. it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't never go to PC though. I ain't have to. You feel me? I ain't going for that. Yeah, 32 seasons, man. Oh, um, that's my first project. I put this shit out probably like five months after I got out. You feel me? Like I hit the ground running with that motherfucker. Uh, but 32 seasons, yeah, that's goddamn. It relate to how long I was in prison, you know what I mean? It's uh it's four seasons a year, you feel me? Eight years, thirty-two seasons. You know what I'm saying? So Damn, that cold. That's how you come up with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> and then my second project, I called it twenty nine twenty. And that's how many days I done in that motherfucker. You feel 2, me? Two thousand nine hundred and twenty days. Exactly. Damn. So that's where my project names come from. 
Mm. And for anybody that, that, that's looking at it and be like, what the fuck? I ain't come up with this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know. So, it's, like, it's, 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 it's obvious that um, jail has had a very impactful impact on your perspective. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, man. I don't know if you know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't fuck with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's a nigga, Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? Get what that nigga be saying. He said, man, I I prescribe jail to all these niggas. Because once these niggas go to jail and they find out what's really going on, they come home better men. Do you feel like you going to jail turns you into a better man? Or would you agree with that uh, philosophy that he kicking? Hell yeah. For, 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 for 85% of the men that done did as much time as I have, hell yeah, because I ain't do no... Six months or no two years, mm-hmm. like I said, I did almost a decade. You feel me? Mm-hmm. When I left, my my son was three, five. When I got out, they was fifteen and thirteen. And you feel me? Shit like that. So I don't, I don't, I don't second, I don't take nothing for for granted no more, man. Like it's you can't. That's some shit you can't never get back. You feel me? Like that's wasted time. And I ain't gonna say it's wasted because I, I I took. What I had, to, I, I, I learned from it. I, I took the people that I, I sit around, the older dudes, and I soaked up the knowledge for them. And even hanging with the 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 the, 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 the uh, motherfucking vultures, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Shit, you learn from them. Mm-hmm. You learn from everything. I learned to shut the fuck up, son, a lot, and listen more. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's what I done. You feel me? You know what I mean? So. I will say that motherfucker kind of changed me. You feel me? And I, I think I probably wouldn't have made it past 25 out on the streets. Shit really saved your life, probably. Yeah, you feel me? I had a, I was running wild. I was running wild. Then I was really like, niggas said they was getting it. Like, I was really getting it. I was 18, you feel me? So, I ain't even, I wasn't worried about this shit. Like, nigga, I had shooters and, nigga, I'm 18 with the white bands. Mm-hmm. E E four thirty out there, wide body. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't no thing to me. You know what I mean? Like I really feel like I had something. I really seen a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like so now I was just. You know what I mean, and then I really seen how fast this shit went when I caught my case. Though, like mm-hmm. my lawyer. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Nigga, that cost me, and it ain't do shit for me. You feel me? Nigga, just trying to live in jail. Nigga, getting them phones and shit ain't ain't cheap. You feel me, nigga? A cell phone in prison, two thousand right now. You hear me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, you gotta have your own bridges, cause niggas ain't niggas ain't really niggas ain't really holding that shit down like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And you can't be mad at no nigga, cause life gonna keep going. You feel me? Niggas out here popping babies every day. You feel me? Nigga, a joint of weed in prison right now is fifty fucking dollars. How many niggas you gonna be able to call to get that every goddamn day? It's not possible, you feel me? So when niggas be acting like, yeah, nigga ain't hold this shit down, man, you can't be mad enough. You don't know what no nigga was going through when you was in that bitch, you feel me? So <clears throat> I learned that too, you feel me? Like, uh, you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like, I feel like jail was cool. And then speaking on Charleston though, like, yeah, I'll be listening to that man. Like I, I watch that shit, man. Like, <clears throat> I don't agree with a lot of shit he say, but his method is always, it's, I give him eighty five percent right. You feel me? Like a lot of shit that he say he be, you know what I mean? So I ain't gonna be just be like, fuck that nigga. You know what he talking about? Woo de woo woo. He a sellout. I feel like he found a way to make some money. Can't get <laughs> mad at that, bro. Can't get if mad he, at he that. He found a way to make some money. Nigga, they, they got rich out this shit. And they shit, responding. Yeah, and he getting richer. Man, fuck them folks, you bro. Hey, yeah, that brother came up, man. You gotta respect it, man. So yeah, nigga, game man. the game. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? You know, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. We just really want to uh, touch base with you, man, because we really trying to tap into Knoxville, because we know that they got a lot of um, heat coming out of Knoxville. They got a lot of potential coming out of Knoxville, but because we ain't in that main mass media, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Like right. we get overlooked a lot. So, right. but we in the generation of where we can take this shit into our own hand. All we got to do is link in with each other. Man, so, I want sense. to link in with some real ones from Knoxville, man. Like, and I'm finna, I'm finna 
Knoxville, y'all tap in with, with the chilling circuit, man. Right. Tap in with little more films, man. In, man. You feel me? Outside. Invest in yourself, bro. Bro came down here, invest in yourself. Outside, invest in yourself. yourself. Invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He invested in himself. Y'all come down here and invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta work together. We gonna we gonna break yeah, bread yeah, back yeah, with y'all. Yeah, 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 My nigga, he finna he done, I done tapped him in with clothes the lines down here. Shout out, Rich. Yeah, he did that. He did that. Realize it can happen. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. I done tapped Shots him in with clothes the lines. Shout out, Rich man. Shout out, in the fucking mo lemonade man. You know, you feel me? Chilling circuit man. All this good shit, black shit man. You hear me? Yeah man. Yeah. Is we here, man. So it's that's time. how we coming, man. We don't want this to be the uh the first time and the last time that you come through, bro. We want to have you a regular on the show, man. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for and sure. And we appreciate you, bro. For sure, that, man. For sure. Snap that. it. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah we man. appreciate you <laughs> for coming through, fucking with us, man, and, and showing us love and uh putting us up on game, man, on what's going on in Knoxville, bro. Hopefully this ain't the first interview we do from Knoxville. We want to tap in with not. everybody from Knoxville, yeah, man. Hey, listen, man. I'm about to have, listen, you know what we about to do, man. We got some shit at work. You know, you about to be all in the city with me. God damn it. So, let's get it, be man. looking for this shit, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. Black Tape Cartel, motherfucking Black Keys, motherfucking Lil Mo, motherfucker. We going all the way up, man. It's no more coming down. Only way up, man. It's the only way. It's, it's the only way we can go. You feel me? Boom. Man, what the fuck is up, man? Y'all know what's going on, man. It's Black Tape Paper, Black Tape Cartel, Black Keys, motherfucking Lil Mo, motherfucking The Chilling Circuit. You motherfuckers know we going up, man. Y'all check me out, man. My Spotify going crazy right now, man. Instagram, motherfucking Black Tape Paper, motherfucker. Y'all go to the YouTube, motherfucker. That shit, uh, Black Tape Cartel, LLC. That shit going crazy, man. Everything I'm putting out, stupid hard. I ain't doing no joking. I ain't doing no playing. You motherfucker, see how this shit is, motherfucker. I'm putting on, man. Catch up, man. Yeah. Little Mo Films. You watching the Chitlin' Circuit. Y'all know what it is. Little Mo Films.